Hello Scorpio, welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love, who you might be dealing with, and what can you expect next. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So take what resonates for you, it applies to you. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Sometimes those can resonate more than your sun sign. All right, Scorpio, let's get into it for Scorpio. What messages do you have for Scorpio when it comes to love? Regarding love. Okay. Oh. Let's see what we get for you, Scorpio. Going on for you in love. Eight of Cups, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, the Nine of Swords. Okay. Hmm. Someone's worried, stressed about a departure, about a problem perhaps in a partnership. This could be you or your person feeling this way. Okay, your person's energy, we have the Justice card, Libra energy there, Queen of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. I feel like they want to um, make some sort of offer to you here with the Page of Pentacles, even if it's small. And I think it's because they have a lot of love for you. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there. Maybe they want to make things right with justice as well. We'll see when we clarify. Where is all of this headed? Seven of Wands, the world, okay. And the Ten of Pentacles, okay, interesting. <laughs> because when I saw the Seven of Wands, I thought, uh-oh, <laughs> something's going on there. But this could be that someone's fighting for or um, the chance to have a new beginning with the world, or maybe they're being brave standing up to whatever challenge or obstacle exists in order to have this long-term connection, long-term success with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, okay, Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like someone is getting what they want or their wishes being granted here regarding a connection. So let's get some more energies out here for Scorpio. What else do we need to know about the Oops. <laughs> Dropped my cards under the table, of course. What else do we need to know for Scorpio regarding the connection? What are the energies between Scorpio and the person they are thinking about connecting with at this time? Where are the energies? Where are the energies? Burdened heart. Obligations, burdens, difficulty, burdens weigh heavy on the heart. Hmm. So I feel like, yes, that's that Nine of Swords energy. Like someone's not really de dealing well with what's going on right now or has a lot of worries, a lot of things on their mind. What else do we need to know? For Scorpio, what do we need to know? reach out take the initiative to reach out so someone could be wanting to unburden themselves by communicating here bottom of the deck is mirrored souls soulmate mutual feelings fate you you mirror each other in this special connection so um you have a special connection with this person it might be a soulmate scorpio and i feel like someone wants to reach out to the person that understands them that gets them But this burdened heart, I do feel like that is a a problem. Maybe someone just has a lot going on. Maybe they're stressed, overwhelmed. Um, but they're thinking about reaching out, communicating here, sending a message. Oh, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Hang on one second, guys. Bear with me, Scorpio. I was trying to clear the table from like a little dust bunny and... Let's just knock the whole card off the table, Stella. Okay. Can we get some insight, please? Some guidance for Scorpio regarding these energies. Now, we do have the lovers right in the center. So, you could be dealing with a Gemini, or this is definitely a soulmate connection. Get some insight, please. Scorpio, one more.
Okay, so let's look at this Eight of Cups. What can you tell the spirit about this Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Three of Pentacles, okay. Let me move this up a little bit. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Hangman. Mm. Page of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody leaving a situation. Um, in order to work on things. But I'm also picking up here that someone's still thinking about a departure. And wants to like work together with the Three of Pentacles. And the Hangman is like, you know, looking at things from a different angle. So someone could be having realizations, um, looking at a departure differently. Can I get one more? So basically what I'm saying is that this could have happened in the past as Eight of Cups or is happening now. Because I feel like I could see both here. Can I get one more for this Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Ace of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone wants to talk about this. It's like whatever they're realizing, they want to communicate. Or they're getting clarity about this. Six of Cups. I feel like this happened in the past for a lot of you. And someone's just realizing something about it now. Okay, tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Oh, I got a lot. Ten of Pentacles? Okay. Six of Pentacles, Two of Swords. Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like um, someone's worried about a partnership. It could be that someone's... Okay, and okay, I just got the message. Some of you... There is an existing situation that someone's worried about. So it's, it's a commitment or a family thing that exists that I feel someone's worried about, burdened by. You or this person are unsure or undecided about something that has to do with this connection. Maybe undecided about balancing this connection out, the Six of Pentacles or given the give and take that's required for this to happen it's like maybe there's a give and take that someone has to think about here decide on for this partnership to work let's get let's get some insight into this nine of swords tell me about the nine of swords why is the nine of swords here six of cups ah oh, man someone's like Really thinking of what's already happened, I feel. The world. The past and the future. Again, I get the sense of like an exchange. Can I get one more for this Nine of Swords? Like maybe a cycle has to end here with the world. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like this is someone that's worried about the future. Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Maybe they're worried that there is no future in this connection. And again, this could be you worried or your person because these are your energies combined here. When I see all of these cards together, I feel like I get two very distinct stories. The first scenario is that someone has to leave something right now in the present that that they got tied up in and they're leaving it because of something regarding a past soulmate or a past situation that they can't stop thinking about and so now they're leaving this current situation thinking of the future that's scenario number one scenario number two is that someone is thinking about coming back 
with a soulmate. These are the two scenarios. But I feel like whether whether you're in scenario one or scenario two, there's a give and take. So if someone's leaving a situation right now, that's the exchange. You have to leave something now, close the cycle now to have the new beginning that you want. If you're someone coming back, then you obviously are restarting something. So that means that there needs to maybe be a discussion about the past. You know, if you're coming back, we need to address what's happened. We'll see if we get a little bit more clarity the more we clarify here. Let's start looking at your person's energies. Can we get some insight, please? On this person that Scorpio is, has, or will be doing with. What do we need to know about this person, spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? Scorpio has. I think they're bringing you an offer. Intelligent, logical, analytical. With that Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, a, a serious offer. Let me get one more, please, for this person's energy. This person, Scorpio, is or will be doing hope, dreams, and longing. Yeah. So I feel like someone's thinking about something in a logical way, in an analytical way, which definitely justice energy. And definitely that reminds me of the hangman as well, the ace of swords. Um, it's like someone is hoping for something that they are really thinking about in a possibly a logical way. So what does this mean? Um, this could be that somebody, these are just examples, you know, maybe they have an obstacle that they need to overcome and they're thinking about it in a logical way while dreaming and hoping for a successful outcome, right? That's like the most broad way that I can describe these two energies and the other energies of the on the board. It's like someone has a dream, nine of cups, and it's not enough to just have feelings about it. You have to actually think and use your intelligence to make something a reality is what I'm picking up on here. So let's look at this justice energy. Why is justice here? What can you tell me about justice? Queen of Cups. Interesting, these are opposites. Justice does not take into account emotions. They only care about the facts. This energy is about the facts, about the objective view, about what's fair. Emotions have nothing to do with it. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Tell me about justice. But it, again, it's almost like these two energies here. Queen of Cups, they're, emo they're emotionally attached or tied to something. Uh, maybe they have someone in mind that they care about, but they have to think logistically and analytically about something. Tell me about justice. Why is justice here? The Fool, oh yeah. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And the Nine of Swords is here with the world, so Again, there's worries here. I feel like someone's trying to get ahead of their worries and anxieties by thinking about something critically. It's like if I plan for it, it won't be as as risky. Can I get one more? This could also be that someone just wants things to be fair to them. Someone wants things to just, for them to have justice, for them to have this new beginning with the person that they love. Can I get one more for justice? Seven of Cups. Yeah, that did want to come out. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And then the Six of Swords. With the Five of Wands after that. Oh yeah, there's definitely some sort of conflict here. I don't know if this is a conflict on your side, Scorpio. On your person's side. But someone wants to leave this behind. And they're thinking how to do it. So I feel whatever block, barrier, challenge someone here is fighting for with the Seven of Wands. It's because there's an existing conflict. That's why they're so worried. That's why they're so burdened. Yeah. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. 
which I can barely see here. Talking about this page of pentacles for Scorpio. Ten of Wands. We're getting a lot of like the same kind of energies with the second deck. Okay, tell me about the Page of Pentacles. There's Page of Pentacles here. Six of Swords. Yeah. It's almost like this burden needs to be dropped, needs to be left behind for someone to make this small offer or have a small opportunity. Yeah, Two of Cups. And look at this. The Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck as well. Serious soulmate energy here. Again, there's a theme here of like an exchange, you know, or leaving the past behind to head towards the future. The future is, if you look at this literally, like, you know, there's a Ten of Wands, Six of Swords, and the Two of Cups. So it's almost like leave the burden in the past, move forward into the Two of Cups. And it's a small beginning, like I said earlier, with the Page of Pentacles. This isn't like a big extravagant offer or this huge opportunity, but for some reason, someone's thinking about it. The world, the fool. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords. The old and the new is what I heard. So let's look at these future energies down here. Because I feel like this seven of wands is just dealing with the conflict that we're seeing. And this conflict could be anything. It could be an existing family situation. It could be uh, long distance, career, finances. It could be fear. Someone could be a little bit too stressed out, overwhelmed. It could be the fact that there's minimal communication or there someone needs to speak up. Tell me about the seven of wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Why is the Seven of Wands here? Five of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Okay, so I'm getting a message of someone fighting alone. So, no support. Very little support. Okay. It's like they're standing up for something, but it's against everybody. Okay, tell me about the Seven of Wands. Four of Pentacles, this could also be financial. Okay, I want more for the Seven of Wands. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone is, despite the struggles, despite the difficulty, Five of Pentacles, um, it's like they're stubbornly gonna do it anyway, despite the fact that there's no support or that it's super difficult. They're motivated to get this done, to do what they wanna do. Yeah, they're motivated by love, Ace of Cups. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And when I look at the board, there's barely any wands here. Only the Ten of Wands. So I find that very fascinating. The clarifiers, the basic cards that I set down, there's no wand energy, no fiery energy. The Seven of Wands as well. Um, but, you know, the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Wands, for me, they're not action cards. None of these, the only action card that I see is the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. These are the action cards. Maybe even the Fool, taking a risk, right? So I get the sense that this is someone, you know, whatever's happening here in a connection is like developing. This person is fighting to take action, but I don't think it has happened just yet. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Someone's fighting for this chance. 
fighting for a chance with you, fighting for this new beginning. It's involving you. The devil, Capricorn energy. I do feel like this is kind of the obstacle here. Yeah, and again, there's that energy of the exchange, two of pentacles. You got to exchange one for the other. You cannot take this with you. Can I get one for this ten of pentacles? Why is the ten of pentacles here? The hermit, Virgo energy. Again, I don't see action. I see someone thinking, um, reflecting alone. Yeah, eight of swords. There's, and, and it's because there is this obstacle to overcome. And someone perhaps is just a bit paralyzed by you know, what they have to do. Two of Swords, Hangman, Seven of Cups, right? You know, it's like there's a lot of thinking here, a lot of like weighing of options, trying to figure out the best choice that they can make. And they're thinking about the future. Ten of Pentacles, I, I strongly feel like this is like a future card. Um, and the Page of Wands is at the bottom of the deck with the Chariot. Look at this energy. This is action. But it's at the bottom of the deck and the magicians after that so if you wanted to just see those energies all together these are action cards for especially for me as a reader cancer energy with the chariot but this is like um someone that's thinking about the next steps which are to take some sort of action they're just not there yet and i think it's because it's going to require a fight <laughs> or for them to stand up to some sort of challenge or opposition to be with you let me know if that's resonating in the comments is there any guidance messages for scorpio what does scorpio need to know what does scorpio need to know the signs are cautioning you number 15 and weigh your options okay so yes i feel like someone is um thinking about an existing problem someone i feel knows that they have to make a decision soon I think that they're already aware that they have to walk away from something. Eight of Cups is the first card out. And I feel like they're just weighing their options to, to, to figure out, you know, what to do. Can I get one more? Get one more energy, please, for Scorpio. What do they need to know? You deserve more. So maybe someone's realizing that they deserve happiness. They deserve fulfillment. They deserve the world. The Ten of Pentacles, and they don't have them. They don't have this yet. Bottom of the deck, answers will come. So I feel like this is someone getting to that point where enough is enough and they're gonna be fighting for their own happiness. This could be you, Scorpio. This could be the person you're with. I feel like someone's already thinking about the person they wanna be with though. If there's not, you know, if they're not thinking about the specific person they wanna be with, they have an idea of who they would want to be with, what partner they would like to be with, what type of qualities they would look for, etc., etc. Uh, thank you so much for watching, Scorpio. Like the video if you enjoyed the reading. Subscribe if you haven't already. Both of those are free ways you can support me. And um, I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.